The sketch below represents the graph of f of x, okay, where d is the turning point. Okay, the graph intersects the x-axis at p and q. First question for five marks. It's a lot of marks for such a basic amount of information. It says determine the values of b and c. Okay, so one of the ways we could handle this is we know that to find to find the x value of a turning point, when it's written like this, you use the formula x equals to minus b over 2a, okay? So we can use, but we know, so, so, so we can say, um, we know what the x value of the turning point is, it's 1. So we could say 1 is equal to minus b, which we don't know, you see that, over 2a. Now a is negative 2, okay? And so that means 1 is equal to negative b over negative 4. I'm going to cancel out those negatives, and so we end up with that. To get b alone, you are going to multiply this 4 over to the other side. And so you end up with 4 is equal to b. And so we have the value of b now, plus 4 times um, x plus c. What we can now go do is let's go plug this equa this point into the equation. So the 8 is a y value, and the 1 is an x value, and then we can solve for c. So 8 is equal to negative 2 plus 4 plus c, and if you solve for c, you should eventually get 6. And so there we have it. So b is equal to um, 4, and then c is 6. The other way you could do this question is to remember that there is a turning point formula that we have, which goes like this. Okay. Now, remember that the P and the Q are the turning points. Now, we have those. Okay, so we could go full in P. We know that the graph has moved one unit right, so you say x minus 1, not x plus 1. And then this has moved 8 units up, so we say plus 8. A we already have, because we know that A comes from ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the let the number, sorry, in front of x squared. But look, we have it. So we can fill in a as negative 2. And so there we have an equation. We can then go multiply this equation out. So remember, the best way to do that, don't put this minus 2 inside. You cannot, because this first needs to be double bracketed. Aha, there we go. Now, multiply these two together so long. So that would become x squared, take away x, take away x, which is going to be take away 2x, and then plus 1. Now multiply the minus 2 in, so negative 2x squared plus 4x, take away 2, plus 8. And so then if you go solve, y is equal to negative 2x plus 4x plus 6. So now we can look at this, and we can look at this, and we can say that b is 4. And C is 6. The, this last part says that the graph of G represents F. Okay, wait. So, okay, okay. So we have F at the moment. Okay, so now they're talking about some random graph G, which is a new one. So it says that the graph of G represents F. Okay, so the so graph G is F when F is translated two units left and three units up. Determine the equation of G. Okay, so... I've showed you um, two ways of writing the equation of um, f. Now, there's this way. But then there was also the turning point method. Sorry, this is graph f, which was uh, negative 2. Um, and then we had x minus 1. And then we said uh, plus 8. This is a better option to use now because what we're going to do, they said that the graph of G is the same as F when F is translated two units to the left. Okay, so how do you move something two units to the left? Well, you're going to change this over here. Now, when you go left, that means plus. So you are going to do this. So you're going to say that G of X is going to be negative 2, X minus 1. Now, when you go left, you go plus. Okay. And then it says three units up. So we're going to say plus eight and then plus three. And so you're going to end up with the following. Now this part here becomes uh, x plus one plus 11. And so that would be the equation of G. Now, for those of you that didn't want to use the turning point method, then what you would do is you would use this equation. And it also works out perfectly. You could just do the following. Wherever you see x, 
open up a bracket. Okay, so wherever you see x, open up a bracket and then change it from x and rather change it to x plus 2 because we're going to go two units left. And then do the same over here, x plus 2. Then to change the graph three units up, you're going to say plus 6 and then you're going to just add 3 over there. Then you're just going to go simplify now. Okay, and so x plus 2, I want you to double bracket that. Remember to double bracket that. Um, and then this, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And then we might as well just put these two together as plus 9. And so this becomes g of x is equal to negative 2. Now we're going to multiply these two brackets together. So it would eventually become x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then um, plus uh, 4x plus 8 plus 9. Now we're just going to neaten and clean this all up. So it's going to become negative 2x squared. I'm multiplying the negative 2 into the bracket. Minus 8x minus 8 plus 4x plus uh, 17. Okay, and now we're just going to neaten up a little bit more. So it's going to be minus 2x squared. Um, minus 8 plus 4 is minus 4. And then minus 8 plus 17 is plus 9. And that is also a valid answer.